as opposed to internal combustion engines. Electric vehicles do not have transmissions that require frequent maintenance. The drivetrain of an EV only has two gears, one for moving forward and one for moving backward. This is still considered a transmission because it controls the direction of the car, but it does not have multiple gears of varying sizes for acceleration. In fact, many electric cars are marketed as having only one speed. The electric motor of an EV can spin at a maximum of 20,000 revolutions per minute and directly interacts with the transmission to power the wheels. This means that EV transmissions have fewer moving parts and require less lubrication and maintenance. Owners of a Nissan LEAF should inspect the gearbox fluid every 120,000 miles, which is a significant distance for a single owner. If a driver plans to purchase a used EV with high mileage, it is important to check the condition of the gearbox fluid. Newer EV models, such as those from Hyundai and Kia, recommend changing the gearbox fluid every 80,000 miles. Tesla vehicles manufactured before 2021, specifically the Model S and X, may not have an oil filter in the electric drive unit. For those models, it is advised to change the oil every 100,000 miles. However, for 2021 or newer Model S, X, 3, or Y vehicles, the electric motor lubricant can last for more than 100,000 miles due to the addition of an oil filter in the new drive unit. It is worth noting that some Tesla models, particularly the pre-2021 Model S and X, require a specific type of oil for their gearboxes. This is not a traditional engine oil change, but it is crucial for the proper functioning of the gearbox. Tesla recommends changing the gearbox oil every two years for these models, which is different from the 100,000 mile recommendation for other components or model years not explicitly mentioned. It's easy to overlook this aspect of EV service, so keep in mind too that it is important to follow the manufacturer's recommendation for the correct type of gearbox fluid, as using the wrong one can void the warranty and may result in gearbox failure, just like with traditional gas-powered vehicles. Thanks for watching.